Now let's finally start working on the user dashboard and user comments. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open this index.html from our admin assets and copy the content. Now inside the user dashboard view, create a new section named content. And paste this code here. Also, don't forget that we made this title dynamic, so we can actually set the title for this particular page. Now, since this is user account type, we only want to show the data that is related to that user. So in this case, we would display a number of comments that was made by that user and a number of posts that user commented. So we can get rid of these two groups here. So we are only left with two. But we can change this to six. So it would be on the full screen like this. Now, to get a number of comments made by a particular user, we will have to create a relationship between user and comment. So, open the user model and create a new function named comments. And this relationship is has many type. And as you can see, we are getting results here that we made three comments, which is true. And the way we did it is we access the comments relationship and then we simply count a number of the items. Now for the commented posts, this technique is not going to work. For the commented posts, we want to get comments, but with unique post ID column. 
So to do that, we are going to use distinct function. But since this is collection, we are not able to use distinct function. So in that case, we can use unique function and also pass the argument post ID. And in this case, we don't need any argument for the count. And as you can see, we are getting an output here. Now let's play a little bit post ideas in the comments. Let's say that user commented two comments for the post ID one and only one comment for the post ID three. Now this time we should get commented posts returning number two. And as you can see, it clearly does. Now right here, we are going to implement the chart, but this is not part of, of this lesson. So we are going to remove that for now. Now let's start working on the user comments page. Now for the user comments page, we are going to implement this stripped rows table. So let's get back to the code and open tables.html. Great. Now let's see what fields do we need in this table. We want to display to which post that comment is related, what is the comment content, when the comment was created, 
and we want to give the user some actions like deleting the comment. Now under here, we're going to use for each loop and loop through every comment for that user. Now we are getting an error that we are trying to get property of non-object. And as you can see, this is the problem here. And the first thing that comes into my mind is that we forgot to create a relationship between comment and the post. So let's check that. And as you can see, we don't have the relationship to the post. And this time we are able to display all the three comments for this user. Now let's create the link for this post. Great. And the only thing left is to create this comment removal functionality. And for that, we will have to create a new route.
So the first thing we want to do is we want to find that particular comment. But we also want to make sure that the currently logged in user is the creator of that comment. So we are going to check if the column user ID is to equals to currently logged in user. And we want to get the first row. And if everything went well, we want to delete that comment. But since this is the post type of request, we will have to create a form here. Great. Now let's check if it actually works. Now instead of this check, we can actually run delete function directly here. And it seems like we forgot to define method of the form request. Now let's try to make this element button instead of the A element. And we also forgot to use the submit function on this form. And as you can see, the comment with ID2 disappeared, which means that comment removal functionality is now working.